Hey Dragon Slayers, today's video is about fasting's effect on hair loss and fatigue. Don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps the channel out. Let's get started. So when it comes to fasting and hair loss, this is a common yet avoidable scenario. The modern world has us mineral depleted. You need minerals to keep your hair full and growing. Dr. Mindy's first solution to hair loss is to take a mineral supplement. If that doesn't help, be sure you are varying your fasting lengths and avoiding fasts that are longer than 17 hours. It's at 17 hours that the toxic dump can begin. If you have done both of the tips that Dr. Mindy has recommended above, and are still experiencing hair loss, consider getting a heavy metal test. <clears throat> heavy metals like lead and mercury and thallium will sit in mineral receptor sites of your cells and can make it difficult for minerals to get in. Thallium in particular is prevalent in our oceans from the Fukushima nuclear fallout. This heavy metal is now in many of the fish that we're eating. We have run thousands of heavy metal tests on women and have come to discover that those with the worst levels of thallium are also the ones with the worst levels of hair loss. Another toxic influx that seems to affect hair loss comes from the chemicals in breast implants. If you are thinking about getting breast implants, Dr. Mindy would encourage you to do your research. Ask about the type of implants your doctor wants to use and find out what they're made of. If you already have implants, this is a tough discussion to have. Many implants have heavy metals in them. Find out if yours do. Once you know what's in them, you can make the very difficult decision. It may behoove you to get them removed. If it helps, Dr. Mindy has been in detox trenches with a lot of very sick women and the ones who have had their implants removed feel so much better and never regret the decision. So fasting and fatigue. Remember that if you are repairing your mitochondria with your fasting lifestyle, that means that initially you can get a little fatigued. Dr. Mindy's first recommendation is to give yourself permission to be tired. Can you go to bed early? take a quick 20 minute power nap, or just sit and rest for a few. You are healing, and it takes energy from your cells to heal. <clears throat> if the low energy persists, this is where you might lean into some biohacking tools that help you power up your mitochondria. One of them is red light therapy. Your mitochondria has receptors on the outside of their membranes for red light. This therapy provides them a necessary light fuel, allows them to provide you with energy. Another biohack is a hyperbaric oxygen chamber. Your cells require oxygen to function normally, yet as you age, your cells become less efficient at taking the oxygen you breathe in and putting it into your cells. A hyperbaric oxygen chamber compresses oxygen so that it can get into your cells and feed your mitochondria more easily. If the fatigue with fast lasts several weeks, it might be time to detox. Environmental toxins destroy mitochondrial function. If fasting isn't energizing those powerhouses, removing toxins from your cells can help them perform better. Well, that's what I've got for you guys today. Don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps the channel out. And remember guys, that together, you and I will slay the dreaded diabetes dragon.